this is build number 124 uh, another uh, half 700 build so this is the second time I'm working on this particular uh, huge case um, I've already fitted uh, some parts the motherboard the Z790 motherboard with the 13900K processor um, and also mounted the radiators with the push-pull configuration uh, there and also down there I'll be using uh, a vertical mount uh, on this particular bill and I'm just waiting for the water block for the 3090Ti uh, GPU and also I removed some of the panels uh, on the case that I'm not gonna be using and I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave this fans here but I think it's gonna be fine and I'm also gonna be using the stock fans the intake stock fans here because it's really ample enough for the intake okay build the uh, progress okay so I've uh, already mounted the acrylic and then uh, set up the uh, cables there and also here this is the new uh, cable for the this is a 3.0 I think uh, power cable so I just left it kind of like this so that it will not be bent so much so, yeah. uh, also the tube layout I've changed it this is the version 2 uh, that's why I didn't include the other videos because first uh, the first layout uh, this is the same but these two tubes are going uh, in the middle so well I didn't uh, like how it turned out so I changed it uh, like uh, the top uh, tube layout uh, so here the diff difficult part uh, aside from four tubes having three bends uh, I had no uh, room for error because even a one two millimeter one millimeter difference is gonna look bad because this four tubes coming out should be all lined up like for instance if you look like uh, here this should line up uh, on the tube above tube on the right and the one on the top that's much better looking here so see I don't know if it could be seen on the camera but uh, this four two choose really needs to line up perfectly with each other so it would look uh, good uh, took me a long time but it's fine as long as it's I'm uh, uh, happy with it so yeah this is really a big case of, and firstly uh, uh, the client wanted to put two reservoirs but it's too big uh, there was no space for me to go 
on the tube layout mounting here because two reservoir will occupy both all this space so I just ended up using one and I'm still gonna finalize these tubes but that's gonna be that way and then uh, after that I'm gonna do the tubes on the back to connect everything and of course this horrific cable management uh, I'm still gonna uh, fix this cables here on the back and remove the, this acrylic is mounted by uh, nuts and bolts I think six of them yeah. but I will still be removing all these things because I'm still gonna paint that black uh, so everything's gonna be removed again and then painted and then installed again before I uh, finalize everything and then put the uh, coolant inside okay I've uh, finished uh, painting the acrylic and it's already installed also some of the tubes I already uh, fitted uh, in the reservoir down here and uh, here going to the radiator and uh, install the aluminum brackets to cover the sides of the LED strips also here on the top and of course on the GPU because there is a lead strip here yeah, so I don't uh, want to see the sides of the LED strips so I put aluminum uh, panels there Okay, everything is set and I finalized the, the cut on the uh, tubes so now I'm gonna install these four tubes also the back is okay everything's uh, fitted and uh, uh, now the, uh, the tubes are uh, a little bit bigger than usual so what I'm gonna do is, uh, like before, I put this on the tubes along with the uh, rubber to uh, tight fit uh, the tubing. So, but now because of the uh, tight tube, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna scratch it. I'm just gonna put it inside like that and then uh, you see the rubber right okay but I will not tighten this I'll just loosen it a uh, couple of bit a little bit so like this okay and we will install gonna go in the end of the fitting so that I would just know because uh, using uh, frosted tubes you can see if the end of the tubes is going against the edge of the fitting and you know I just put this mark you know, just an estimate if it's going inside or what because I'll be doing this method of tightening or putting the, uh, the the, com uh, the compression fittings, uh, o-ring, and the lock. So if you're gonna do what I'm gonna do right here, this is how you should do it by marking it so that you would see if it goes inside well. And if not, you know, at least you have a marker there. And this is not permanent, it's easily removed put something you can just wipe it out so it's fine 
Okay, let's install. First, I'm going to do the small tree. The small ones, like so. The reason why I do it is sometimes there are tubes that are a little bit thick. So when you put it on the uh, the tubing, you know, and you you tighten it, uh, going from here to there, and it scratches the tubes. So this prevents it from those big scratches, especially if there's a tight fit on the tubing and on the uh, compression fitting. Alright, so we're gonna go and fill the loop now. Okay guys. <laughs> 